Hi Grizzlies, just a friendly reminder that December 16th is the very first day of finals. So make sure you're studying very hard, make sure you have all your work done, and we are coming down to the end of the semester. So if you do have a grade that you're unhappy with, feel free to use some resources like email a teacher or ask them to stay with you during lunchtime or try to request a GLC form to go to a new GLC. Try to do anything you can to get your grade up, ask for extra credit, um, but with all that information being said, good luck to you and back to the show. Leadership will now be doing something called Wellness Wednesday. Leadership will be posting quotes, tips, resources, and more every Wednesday to help everyone in the Gunderson community take care of themselves and their mental health. Hey Grizzlies, today's question is basically, how has distance learning affected your mental health and did your environment around you affect anything at all? With this new distance learning in place, my mental health was negatively affected at first, but having a good environment and some friends that really build you up have positively affected me. I think that distance learning has affected my mental health just a little bit, just enough to make me sleep through a first period or two. You're usually used to being in school with your friends with other people and act, and you're able to get help quicker and more efficiently. And it's definitely a lot more different being home alone, just looking at your laptop. Distance learning affected my mental health by causing me to be more stressed and for me to have more distractions around me while I'm being stuck at home, which makes it harder for me to focus and pay attention to what I need to do for my class. I would say that online school has affected my mental health in a moderate amount, just because the isolation and being stuck in my room doing the same thing all day every day has really caused my motivation to fly out the window. And also trying to juggle school, college applications, and everything else without the physical separation of those spaces has really blurred the lines between work time and free time, so it's super easy to get burnt out. I say distance learning has uh, affected me a bit with my mental health. It's been harder to get um, work done because we're staying at home, and it's harder to focus um, on the lessons, especially since... Um, it's hard for some internet connections and everything. I've set some goals for myself, maybe read a book per month, maybe do 100 push-ups a day or three, run three miles a day. Just setting some goals for myself just kept me mentally intact. And I continue to do this throughout distance learning. I think distance learning has made it so that I'm able to work with myself and be less reliable on others for help. And therefore I've become more self-sufficient. students. My name is Brian Fan, and today I'm shining a spotlight on the Gunnarsson High School Quiz Bowl team. Quiz Bowl is a game played between two teams of four and they usually answer trivia questions ranging from all types of topics. The, they usually meet on Thursdays at lunch using Discord. If you're interested in joining or like to learn more, please follow them at their Instagram. Hi Grizzlies! Little sports news. Next week on December 10th, Thursday at 3 p.m., there will be a virtual water polo meeting held. You can find out more information on how to attend at their Instagram page, Instagram Athletics, but it is also urged that you email bchu at sgusd.org to RSVP, where further details will be sent to you. Have a good one! Here's a reminder that every student has an academic counselor that are there to help them. They can help you with academic counseling and advising, college eligibility, SAT and ACT, testing information, financial aid, and scholarship opportunities, college application workshops, and many more. You can find all these informations on our Canvas page or go on our school website under College and Career to find more updated information. Bye! Hey Grizzlies! Seniors, are you having trouble with your CSU apps? If so, I have some good news. CSU apps have been extended. That's right, now you can sit back, relax, and take a quick breather. 
CSU apps will now be due on December 15th, 2020. If you want to be updated, you can visit at DCAC underscore GHS on Instagram, or if you have any questions, you can contact Ms. Castro or Mr. Oscar for your college and career needs. Grizzlies, we have exciting news. A new club is developing at Gunderson. It's called the Creative Writing Club and will be held virtually. It will be a forum for students to hang out socially and meet other students, get feedback on the writing, join group projects, practice writing skills, and write some awesome poetry and short stories. We will also look into contests and opportunities in our area. This is a club for all students interested in prose, poetry, music, and photography or art. We will publish a monthly online magazine and an end-of-the-year collective book. The club will meet two or three times a month. If you, if you would like to join, please go to and fill out the form. If you have any questions, please email gunderscw at gmail.com. I hope you guys join. Hi Grizzlies, I would like to inform you guys about our final schedule. On December 15th, we'll have periods 1, 3, 5, and 7. On December 16th, we'll have periods 2 and 4. On December 17th, we'll have periods 3 and 5. And, and on December 18th, we'll have periods 6 and 8.